Hi, Fanta. Can I come in? Yes. So my name is Maria Elena. I'm going to be your student nurse today. But first, let me go ahead and wash my hands for CDC guidelines for 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, let me go ahead and put my gloves on. And let me go ahead and close the curtain for some privacy. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a um, physical assessment today. Um, this will consist of me inspecting and touching different part of your body, uh, different part of your body. So is it okay if I start, or do you have any questions? No, nope, you can start. Okay. So uh, can I have your name and date of birth? Denise Gonzalez, twelve twenty four ninety two. Okay, thank you. And do you have any type of allergies? No allergies. No? Okay, great. So uh, first, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a health assessment. I'm gonna be asking you a few questions just so I can verify your um, alertness and consciousness. Uh, but your vitals were already taken and everything is within normal limits. So um, can you state your name one more time? Denise Gonzalez. Okay, great. And then do you know what date it is today? Uh, May 6th. Okay. 2024. Great. And do you know where you are? West Coast Hospital. Okay, great. And do you know why you're here? Physical assessment. Okay, great. Um, so patient is alert and oriented times four. Um, and while I was asking the questions, I was assessing the patient's mood, um, well-being, hygiene, and mood. And everything was perfect. So I'll go ahead and continue. And do you have any pain? Okay. So if the patient would have any pain, I would go ahead and do the numeric scale. Um, but if she doesn't, then I'll go ahead and continue. So I'm going to be inspecting your head. I'm going to be touching it and going through it just to make sure if anything is wrong, okay? okay? So patient has equal hair distribution. Do you have any pain no. or tenderness? No. No? So patient does not have any tenderness or pain, does not have any bulging masses, any scars, any redness, any swelling. So now I'll go ahead and move to the face and neck. Uh, the patient's skin is consistent with rays. Uh, she doesn't have any redness, any swelling, any scars, any bulging masses, uh, any edema. So I'll go ahead and move forward with your ears. So I'm gonna be touching your ears and let me know if you have any pain or tenderness, okay? okay. Do you have any pain? No. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in eye level Patient does not have any discharge, any drainage, any redness, any swelling. So I'll go ahead and do the other one. Okay, do you have any pain in that ear? No? Okay, so patient does not have any redness, any drainage, any swelling, any uh, edema. So now I'll go ahead uh, and inspect your eyes. So you're gonna go ahead and look forward and I'll go ahead and uh, verify everything, okay? Okay, so patient's sclera is white and I'm gonna be touching your face, okay? And the conjuva is uh, light pink. And now I'm gonna be inspecting your nose. Your nose is midline. Go ahead and uh, go back. Okay, the uh, nasal mucosa is uh, dark pink, so it's perfect. It's midline, no drainage, no swelling. And now the patient's lips are moist and round, no cracking or swelling. If, if, if you can go ahead and open your mouth. And say on. Ah. Uh, okay, great. So the uvula is midline, uh, tonsils are class two, and the um, inner of the mouth is light pink. There was no swelling or redness, and the gums were surrounding the teeth. The teeth were pearly white, and um, there was no bleeding or there was no bleeding or tenderness. <laughs> okay, so now I'll go ahead and move forward with your uh, lymph nodes. To, uh, so just go ahead and let me know if you have any pain, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna first do the pre-ocular. Uh, mm? Okay, do you have any pain? No. No? Then I'll go ahead and do the parotid, the retropharyngeal, the submandibular, the submental, post-orbicular, uh, occipital, the anterior uh, cervical, posterior cervical, and the supraclavicular. Uh, did you have any pain? No, pain? no. So there was no tenderness, no, I didn't feel them, or they were also not visible. So now I'll go ahead and check your uh, carotid artery. 
Okay, so it's palpable plus two uh, and rhythmic. So I'll go ahead and check the other side. Okay, great. So that one was palpable plus two rhyth uh, rhythmic. So now I'll go ahead and verify the carotid and the eighth goal at the same time, uh, just to make sure that they're instinct. Okay, so the carotid is instinct. Now I'm gonna go ahead and inspect the artery. I mean, listen to the artery with the bell of my stethoscope. Okay, so no breweries were heard. Um, so now I'll go ahead uh, and... Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and inspect your cranial nerves, okay? So first, we're going to go ahead and inspect uh, cranial number one. So go ahead and close your eyes and one of your nostrils. Close one of your oh, nostrils. Oh, sorry. <laughs> go ahead and breathe in. Okay, what do you smell? Coffee. Okay, great. Go ahead and close your other uh, nostril. Great. What do, you, uh, what do you smell? Coffee. Okay, great. So cranial nerve uh, number one is intact. So for cranial nerve number two, uh, the swelling chart was already done and everything was within normal. So cranial nerve no number two is intact. So now I'll go ahead and do cranial nerve three, four, and six. So I'll go ahead and verify your, uh, go ahead and look forward and then I'll go ahead and verify if you have constriction of your pupils. Okay, so pupils are round and intact and reactive to light. Uh, so go ahead and look forward. I mean, look at the top of my pen and just go ahead and follow it, okay? Okay, so uh, she was able to follow all six angles, so all the muscles are good. So cranial nerve number three, four, and six are intact. So now we'll go ahead and do number five. So first, you're going to go ahead and uh, feel this one, which is soft uh, touch, and let me know when you feel it, okay? Close your eyes. Yeah, feel it. Okay. Feel it. Feel it. Okay, great. So go ahead and open your eyes. So now I'm going to do sharp and dull touch. So let me say now whenever you feel it, okay? But let me show you how it feels. Okay, okay so go ahead and close your eyes. Yeah, feel it. Feel it. Okay, great. So cranial nerve number five is intact. Uh, go ahead and open your mouth and smile for me. Uh, close it. Okay, great. So cranial nerve five is intact. So now we're going to be doing cranial nerve number seven, which is going to be of you opening and saying ah and uh, puff up your cheeks. Ah. Uh. Okay, go ahead and puff it up. And now I'm going to go ahead and deal with resistance, okay? Okay, great. So cranial nerve number seven is intact. So now we're going to be doing uh, number five. So this will, I mean, number eight, I'm sorry. This will consist of me going through the back. I'm going to be whispering a word and just tell me what it is, okay? Okay. Apple. 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 Okay, so, uh, and then go ahead and stand for me. And close, uh, put your hands uh, right to the side and close your eyes. Okay, so go ahead and open it. They, she would have them closed for 20 seconds. Go ahead and sit down. Cranial nerve number eight was also intact. So now uh, go ahead and say, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and open your mouth and I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna check your mouth. Okay, go ahead and say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, great. So the uvula is intact and it's midline and everything looks good. It didn't move, I mean, it didn't, it doesn't look like it's anything wrong with it. So now that is for cranial nerve nine and 10. They were both intact. So for cranial nerve number 11, go ahead and uh, shrug your uh, shoulders. And now go ahead and turn to the right and left. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do it with resistance. So go ahead and turn to the left and then do the other side. Okay, great. So cranial nerve number 11 is intact. So for cranial nerve number 12, go ahead and stick your tongue out and go ahead and move it to the side and up and down. 
Okay, great. So cranium, uh, cranium nerve number 12 is intact. So now I'm going to go ahead and inspect uh, your chest and your upper extremities. So I'm going to be checking your uh, chest, um, bare skin, and the chest is, I'm going to be inspecting your breathing, which is expansion, it's equal rise. Uh, the skin is appropriate for ethnicity, it's dry and it's warm. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and place my fingers uh, right here just so we can check your expansion, okay? Go ahead and take a deep breath. Okay, great. And let me go ahead and check the back. Go ahead and move forward. And go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, great. The respiratory exp uh, expansion are symmetrical, posterior, and anterior. Um, the dimensions of the upper the chest is one to two uh, diameters. So now I'm gonna be checking your range of motion, okay? So go ahead and put your arms to the side. Now up, forward, okay? So now I'm gonna go, you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but with persistence, okay? So go ahead and move it to the side. Okay, now up and then forward. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna be checking your capillaries, refill, and let me see the other one. Okay, so it's less than two seconds. And now I will go ahead and check your uh, pulses. So I'm going to be doing the radial first for a minute. And they are palpable plus two rhythmic. And I'm going to go ahead and do the radial. And it's palpable plus two uh, rhythmic as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the reflexes. So I'm going to do your tricep, okay, and then your brachial, okay, and then your brachial radiology, radial, radial, okay, so I'll go ahead and do the same with this one, okay, okay, all right, so they are both, uh, they are uh, equal bilaterally and they are um, plus two. I'm going to go ahead and assess your uh, heart and lung sounds, and I'm going to be doing that on bare skin, okay? So let me just get my stethoscope. All right. So I'm going to start with your anterior lung sounds. So I'll go ahead and do six, and then every time my uh, stethoscope touches your skin, go ahead and breathe in, okay? And out. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, okay, now, and then five and six are gonna be uh, lateral. Okay, great, so anterior lung sounds were uh, clear and no adventitious sounds were heard. So I'll go ahead and do the back, and I'm gonna be doing this uh, on eight, and I'm gonna be avoiding the bone. So go ahead, okay. Those are going to be lateral as well. Okay, so lung sounds were clear and no adventitious sounds. So now I'll go ahead and do your heart sounds, okay? So I'm going to start with the um, aortic ball, and that's going to be on the right side, uh, cer right sternal border on the second intercostal space. All right, and then I'll go ahead and do the pulmonic, which is the left sternal border, second intercostal space. Okay, and then I'll do the third uh, intercostal space, and that's going to be on the left sternal border, which is at herbs point. Um, all right, and then the aortic was S2 was greater than S1, the pulmonic was S2 greater than S1, the herbs was uh, one, S1 and S2 were equal. So now I'm going to do the triscope. So that's uh, also S. That's gonna be S2 greater than S1, and I'm gonna be doing the apical, okay? So that one is S2 greater than S1, and I would go ahead and auscultate for one minute. Go ahead and move, uh, move forward, just to check the apical pulse, and that would be between 60 to 100, and no S3 and S4 were heard, and everything was rhythmic and great. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with your abdominals. So I'm gonna just ask you a few questions and then I'll go ahead and move forward, okay? When was the last time you had a bowel movement? Um, earlier today. Okay, Did it, was it watery or formed? Formed. Okay, great. And was it normal for you, for you? Yeah, normal. Was it painful or did you have any blood in it? No. No? Okay, great. And uh, what about the, uh, when was the last time that you urinated? A couple hours ago. Okay, great. And was it clear or cloudy? Clear. Okay, did it, was it painful? No. Did it have any blood? Mm -mm. No? Okay, great. Um, so now I'll go ahead and um, do your abdominal uh, abs and I'll go ahead and check, but there was no sign of a UTI, so that's great. So first I'm gonna go ahead and inspect your abdomen and I'm gonna do it, uh, you would go ahead and be laying down, but we don't have a table, so I'm gonna share. So I'll go ahead and inspect it from three different sides. Okay, and that will be on bare skin. Okay, so uh, no bulging masses found, the stomach is brown, no edema, no redness, bruises, and no scars. So now I'll go, I'll go ahead and auscultate your uh, all four quadrants, and then I'll go ahead and do the arteries, okay? So I'll start with the right lower, okay, right upper, left upper, left lower, and you had active bowel uh, sounds. So now I'll go ahead and do the arteries and that's gonna be with the bell of my stethoscope. First, I'm gonna go ahead and do the aorta. Then I'm gonna do the right renal, the left renal, the left iliac, the right iliac, the right femoral, and then the left femoral. Fem femoral. Uh, and they were all normal and no bruises were heard and okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and precuss okay so I'll go ahead and start with the right lower the right upper left and then left uh, and I uh, was able to hear all tympanic sounds all throughout four uh, quadrants uh, did you have any pain okay. no okay so I'll go ahead and palpate and let me know if you have any tenderness or pain okay, okay. Did you have any pain? No? Okay, great. So no mass were felt and no pain was noted. So now I'll go ahead and do uh, your legs, uh, your lower extremities. So I'm gonna be checking your skin, which is uh, uh, consistent with your ethnicity. There is no bruises, no swelling, no scars, no edema, no redness. So now I'll go ahead and inspect your uh, uh, pulses. And that's gonna be the dorsus pedi, pedi? The dorsal pedis uh, pulse. Okay, and that is rhythmic, palpable, plus two. And now I'll go ahead and do the posterior tibia, tibia? And that is rhythmic, palpable, plus two. I'll go ahead and do the capillaries. And that is less than two seconds. And now we're gonna go ahead and move your legs. Go ahead and move them forward and then to the side. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and do the same with um, resistance. Okay, great. And now your feet, go ahead and move them up and down. Okay, okay, great. So you have full range of motion and the strength is five plus, okay? So we are done with the uh, physical assessment. Do you have any questions for me? No? Okay, so you did great. Thank you so much. Thank you.